So the most interesting part of a theme is really the nine piece border. It's essentially the thing that makes themes look uh, rich and yet be flexible enough for all devices. So the nine inch, the nine piece border that you can see right here is uh, really just an image that is cut into pieces. So let's say we want to reimagine this button with a more leather-like uh, look. So let's go into the border section. Use the image border wizard. Now you can do this manually, but it's painful to do this manually. That's why we built this wizard. So you've got a standard way to define an image border by just defining colors of all sorts, like I can do this and create a sort of border image uh, of my own. But usually you would use a file. So I've got a file right here, and that is much easier. Now I have this image that I want the button to look just like that. That's perfect. The problem is if I take the image, it will look great here, but it might not look great on the device. I want something that will be able to at least grow or shrink appropriately, especially with the cases of buttons where their sizes might change considerably. So to do that, I need to cut the image in a particular way. Now when we look at the cuts, uh, the lines here help make this more clear. As you can see, the lines of the border are really uh, just uh, uh, just mark the pieces that we'll have. We'll have essentially nine pieces, which means one piece, two piece, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So these nine pieces will reassemble the border like, just like you would assemble a puzzle. Only in this particular case, we tile the pieces to create the proper border. Notice I said tile and not scale, because tiling is far more efficient on all devices than scaling. And uh, it ha scaling has its advantages, but tiling has other advantages. So in order to actually cut this in a way that the puzzle would be reassembled correctly, we need to cut it in the right places so, so it will come out nicely. So in this particular case, you'll notice this border is really, really, really rich. It's got lots of elements in it. Uh, it has a gradient as well that might not be visible to you guys looking at home, but this is actually much darker than this. And because it has a gradient, and most buttons have gradients. That gives them their three-dimensional look. So in order to make this not break, we need to bring the lines as close as possible to one another. Otherwise, when we reassemble this puzzle, the colors would look too different between uh, this side and this side to work. And we need to move the left side a bit inside and the right side as well. And that's about it. This will cut a proper border. Now, there's a few things for you to notice. What we'll have is this image will effectively get tiled over and over again. And same for this, horizontally only. The center section will get tiled repeatedly, if at all. And uh, the, the corners don't get tiled. They, they just get placed. So... This essentially allows you to reassemble the, the border. Essentially how this works on the device is we draw the corners one by one, then we tile the sides appropriately, and then we tile the center uh, to fill up the center. And this should work, this should uh, grow nicely and look good on most devices. But you'll notice one more thing here. We have an option to generate an RGB image which will just cut this image as usual. But uh, this is actually a very useful option, and sometimes even this is a better option. Uh, what this does is essentially say, look, this source image is of uh, high resolution or very high resolution in this particular case. Why don't you, uh, the Codename One designer, take this image and scale it down to match all of these resolutions, then cut it again? That way, every piece of this border becomes a multi-image. If you remember from my multi-image section when I talked about images, this will effectively mean that the 
borders here, the things here will be much more refined for every single resolution. And that is really, really useful. So if I press OK here, I'll get a border. And as you can see, it actually looks good. Now, you can actually go to uh, the multi-images here and you can see the border that was cut. You see the bottom portion. You'll notice that, that it's a multi-image, that it was automatically scaled to all the resolutions. And you can go to this section and see the cut here. And you literally see the bottom, left, right, center, left, and right, and uh, top, right here. And every one of these is automatically in many different densities to match all sorts of devices that you might expect. And the border is reassembled. You can actually see here that this image is being used by this border. Really useful stuff when you're going over your images. So that's how you build pretty much every sort of UI using image borders. And because I didn't customize the press state, you'll notice that this uh, doesn't look the same when it's pressed. So I'll, I'd need to cut a similar image border for the press state, but I'll leave that as an exercise to you guys. So thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed uh, this tutorial as well.